Hey Packers fans, we're in our week 10 bye, and with a 6-3 record, we have plenty of reason to be optimistic. But to be truly competitive in the playoffs, we still need to improve on some key areas. Let's break down the essential adjustments that the Packers need to make to strengthen themselves in the final stretch of the season and come out on top. The Packers' passing attack shows enormous potential, but it has yet to find the consistency it needs. Jordan Love has struggled to maintain accuracy and protect the ball, which has been a hindrance for the team in key moments. Part of this inconsistency may be related to lower body injuries he has suffered, affecting his movement in the pocket and his passing accuracy. Our receivers also need to step up, eliminating the mistakes and drops we saw from Dante Vian Wicks and Jaden Reed. Despite these setbacks, what is encouraging is that the tactical scheme and routes are working well. The receivers are able to open up space and get into good positions, which shows that the play design is correct. The challenge now is to connect these passes more safely, and especially in crucial moments. If the team can maintain a sequence of successful passes and avoid turnovers, it can transform this offense into one of the most efficient in the league. To do this, Jordan Love needs to find his full confidence. Working on his accuracy and timing with receivers, especially on longer routes, will be essential. With a consistent and reliable aerial attack, the Packers can not only overcome more challenging opponents, but also better exploit the talent of their players. Consistency in the aerial game is one of the keys to making a strong run in the playoffs. Pressure on the opposing quarterback needs to become a Packers trademark. Right now, Rashawn Gary, Kenny Clark, and Lucas Van Ness aren't delivering what we expected, especially after Preston Smith's departure. In theory, the pass rush should be one of the team's strengths, but it's been lacking in big games. Without constant pressure, the defense allows opposing quarterbacks to get comfortable and make quicker, more accurate reads, which exposes our secondary. Coverage in the secondary, especially on the side opposite Jerry Alexander, is another area that needs adjustment. Alexander has been solid, but the lack of a reliable partner on the other side makes it difficult to work together. Kaizia Nixon, Eric Stokes and Carrington Valentine need to step up and make sure the secondary doesn't become a weakness. If the front four can pressure effectively and the cornerbacks can help in coverage, the defense gains an additional layer of security. A defense that can press and cover well is crucial in the playoffs where the level of play is elevated. By combining consistent pressure and an effective secondary, the Packers can neutralize the passing game and give their offense more opportunities. This balance is essential to establishing themselves as one of the most feared defenses in the league and helping the Packers make a deep run in the postseason. Jordan Love has shown great growth, but his interception rate is concerning. With 10 interceptions in 9 games, he is tied for the league leaders in that regard, and many of those interceptions were avoidable. Mistakes like the pick six against the Rams on a play in his own end zone are the kind of decisions that cost him dearly. Love needs to understand that sometimes accepting a loss of yards or throwing the ball away is better than risking a dangerous pass. Another important point to note is that not all interceptions are the quarterback's fault. There are times when receivers make mistakes, either by dropping the ball or not positioning themselves correctly. Still, Love needs to be more careful about taking tight passes and understand that protecting the ball is his top priority. He has a history of starting the season with high turnovers and then improving, but relying on that adjustment again is risky. This learning curve is normal for a young quarterback, but it needs to happen quickly if the Packers want to make a real playoff run. The bye week is a golden opportunity for Love to reflect on his decisions and adjust his style of play. If he can stay calm, avoid impulsive decisions, and protect the ball, the Packers' offense will have a solid foundation to build on to some big wins. The Packers have been hampered by self-inflicted mistakes, which have compromised their performance in critical moments. Penalties in red zone situations, dropped passes and turnovers, are examples of problems that have been constantly appearing. The victory against the Jaguars came, but if we repeat these mistakes against high-level teams, it will be difficult to maintain a winning performance. 
the team needs to focus on cleaner and more efficient execution. Every time the team commits a penalty or a turnover, the pressure mounts. Many of these mistakes could have been avoided with a little more discipline and focus. If the Packers want to make a strong run at the playoffs, it is essential to minimize these mistakes that affect the flow of offensive drives and give the opponent an advantage. Being disciplined and focused can be the difference between close wins and frustrating losses. By eliminating these self-inflicted mistakes, the Packers can unlock the team's full potential. A team that avoids basic mistakes becomes more dangerous and respected on the field with a real chance to compete at a high level. Working on a mindset of focus and attention to detail will be essential in the coming weeks to elevate the team's level of play. Penalties are a problem that has been hampering the Packers' performance. Each foul not only means a loss of yards, but also a disruption of the rhythm at important moments. This becomes even more damaging when it occurs in the red zone, where every yard counts and time is precious. The team cannot continue to make mistakes that give the opponents a free advantage and hinder their own offense. When the team accumulates penalties, it not only hinders progress, but also affects player morale. In tight games, penalties can be the difference between winning or losing, and even define a season. If the team wants to consolidate itself as a true playoff contender, it is vital to reduce these fouls and play with more discipline and focus. For Matt LaFleur, that means working hard on the field and insisting on strict discipline with the team. The team needs to understand that these penalties pose a real risk to their campaign. If the Packers can play with fewer penalties and more control on the field, they will have a much better chance of success, especially down the stretch and in the playoffs. Jordan Love and our receivers need to hit their passes more consistently. Our passing attack is almost there, but we need a more consistent flow of good passes and fewer mistakes. When Love gets his timing right and his receivers hold onto the ball, our offense becomes hard to stop. Let's hope they can find that connection down the stretch. Our defense needs to put more pressure on opposing quarterbacks. Rashawn Gary and Lucas Van Ness have potential, but they still need to show up more. The more pressure we put on the defense, the easier it will be for our cornerbacks in the secondary. A defense that pressures and covers well is essential to facing strong teams in the playoffs. Love has already thrown 10 interceptions, which is way too many at this point in the season. Some of those plays could have been avoided. He needs to learn to accept that not every play is a pass to take. Knowing when to hold on to the ball or throw it away is important. It will make a big difference for the team. The Packers need to stop making mistakes of their own making. Penalties, drops, and turnovers hurt the team in critical moments. If we play more carefully and reduce these mistakes, we will have a better chance of winning. This adjustment could make the team a real threat to opponents in the playoffs. Penalties have been stopping our progress and taking away our chances to score. Playing with more discipline and avoiding silly fouls can make a huge difference. With fewer penalties, we gain more confidence and control on the field. It's time to focus on playing with more attention and fewer fouls to go far in the season. Final summary. To be a strong contender in the NFC, the Packers need to improve their passing game, increase defensive pressure, protect the ball better, reduce mistakes, and avoid penalties. With these improvements, we have everything we need to advance far in the playoffs.